hello everybody welcome to my channel i'm pretty aura i'm here to read for the sign of gemini um if you're watching this video you could have gemini in any placement this could be um that you're a gemini sun sign moon or rising um if you're not knowledgeable about how that works the sun moon and rising signs what you would do is you would go into google and type in sun moon and rising calculator okay you can even look at what your venus placement is and <clears throat> you would go to that particular sign if you were you know looking for messages resonating with love okay as um venus rules that energy okay um <clears throat> So, Gemini, what is, what's going on? What does, what message does spirit have for you? So, first of all, Gemini, this is about being on a journey, okay? You are on a journey to the path of your higher self. You're on the journey um, <clears throat> to, just on a spiritual journey, okay? Leaving things behind is what you should be doing. But there's a little bit of resistance here, it seems like. Kind of being um, stuck in the past, maybe because you want revenge or maybe because you have anxiety and, you know, you're stressed out about things relating to the past, okay? But Spirit is saying, we are trying to take you along this journey and we would appreciate... Um, <laughs> no resistance okay we would appreciate if you would surrender all right that's what spirit is saying um for some of you for some of you guys you are being particularly led on this journey by one of your female ancestors and or spirit guides if you're seeing butterflies books flowers um, you know, please watch out for the signs. Also, you may be getting a lot of signs in the dream state. Look for white flowers, um, yellow flowers, butterflies, um, dragonflies. Okay, whatever, um, whatever it is that your particular spirit team uses to whatever clues or signs, omens your particular spirit guide uses to um let you know that they're there okay a lot of people um have been finding dimes a lot lately um loose change okay surrender to joy a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. So this is what I was saying earlier um, about, you know, looking at things negatively and not being able to get over the past. Okay, surrender to your ego. So you may be feeling as though, listen, I want revenge or I can't believe this happened to me, okay? That is just your ego holding you back, all right? Spirit is saying, listen, <laughs> I'm trying to take you somewhere, okay? We don't need any resistance. We don't need any resistance. Okay? Discipline, discipline yourself, discipline your thoughts. Um, for someone, you know, you may have been coming off as a little bit ungrateful. Okay, discipline your thoughts. Discipline your thoughts to be positive. Whenever you start to think about something negative, replace it with a positive thought. Okay? Okay. Also, there's someone who needs to, who needs to discipline um who needs to discipline themselves when it comes to what they're intaking into their body, okay? Um you know, uh, all the all the um 
the cookie cutter stuff okay eat more greens blah 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 yes okay but there's something in particular that someone needs to give up okay I always, whenever I'm surrendering to spirit, I always sacrifice something, okay? So that may be something that you would want to look into as well. Look at that, trapped in fear, trapped in fear. That's this energy right here. That's this energy right here, okay? You're fearful about something, but whatever you're fearful about, it isn't real, okay? It is not real. Spirit is saying it's just your ego. It's just your anxiety. It's just you not wanting to let go of the past. It's just you feeling like, here we go again, okay? At the bottom of the deck, um, sacrifice with temptation, okay? So this is what I was saying a minute ago. Okay, there's there's going to be there's going to need to be a thought process or a way of living um, a vice, you know, it could be smoking, um, drinking soda late nights, eating chocolate, whatever it is. There's something there's something that needs to be given up. OK, and for a lot of you, it's a way of thinking. It's a way of thinking this needs to be sacrificed in order for you to surrender to your um complete healing for your journey for the journey that spirit is trying to um take you on you guys okay material harvest the at the bottom of the deck memories of love so this this is the this is the same here as the six of cups okay there's something that you're reflecting on you keep reflecting back to the past and spirit is saying let it go okay you keep reflecting back to the past and this is where the anxiety is coming from okay um i'm sorry excuse me There's a guy here on YouTube. Look at that. Surrender fear. So we have it again. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. There's, look at this, look at this guy. There's some type of resistance, okay, that spirit is pointing to. There's a guy on YouTube. I forget his name right now. But when he speaks about um being on your journey he always says not too far in the future and not too far in the past okay so when you're living too far in the future you have anxiety when you're living too far in the past you have depression so align yourself with what's going on in the here and now and that's where this stay in the moment comes from okay stay in the moment Let's take a look at this material harvest and see what it is that spirit is referring to. Some of you could actually be feeling like a goal or um, some type of reward that you feel like you deserve is not manifesting quick enough. And that could be the reason for the fear or the anxiety because you're waiting on something that you feel... Um, is deserved or that you've been working very hard towards but it hasn't manifested yet okay yes look at that okay this whatever this is it hasn't manifested yet and it's making you feel crazy a little bit you know in your mind in your mind about it um this is something that you have been working on very hard something that you feel like that um would bring you happiness, okay? But the thing about the thing about it is um there's something that you need to release, okay? So during this time while you're looking forward to this dream or goal manifesting Gemini, I would say that you release anxiety, okay? Release anxiety um as an exchange for spirit to give you what you want. Like, you know what, spirit? I'm with you on this journey. I'm with you. I'm ready to go where it is you're taking me. But here, you take this anxiety, okay? You cannot grab spirit's hand and go forward and 
Go forth and be great if you are holding on to anxiety, if you are holding on to heartbreak, if you are holding on to the past, if you are holding on to fear, okay? If you are not allowing yourself to feel joy because you're so used to going through the drama or the bullshit, okay? Excuse my language. Let's go and let's look into this heartbreak and see what... Um, what this heartbreak was about, okay? For some of you guys, this heartbreak could be in reference to competition, okay? That's one of the things. This heartbreak could be in reference to some type of competition, jealousy, you know? And like I said, or this is something that it seems like you could be feeling like, why, why, why is everybody always jealous? Why does everybody I meet break my heart? Why am I always being lied to? Why am I always being nice to people and getting the shit into the stick? At the bottom of the deck, we have love here. So this could be one of the areas in life where you're just, you know, heading your hands. Like, you know, man, this is bullshit. Okay? Okay? But your ego is telling you. That the, everything will be like this. Yes, look at that. Your ego is telling you everything will be like this. Everything will turn to shit as it has, has before. But spirit is saying, no, change your focus from this heartbreak. Change your focus, okay? Come with me. I'm trying to take you somewhere, but you cannot be looking at this heartbreak like this. You have to turn your back towards it, okay? And, and you know, that's going to come with you releasing fears and releasing anxieties. Surrender your addictions, okay? So, remember what I told what I said earlier about there's some type of vice or something that needs to go, okay? Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, Take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives, all right? So some of you could be, um, I don't know why I just heard, I heard horror movies, okay? There's something about the vibration of, of you watching horror movies or, you know, there's something that, that, um, that is affecting you, okay? Hand that over to spirit. As I said earlier, the smoke, it could be smoking or it could be, you know, drinking a certain type of uh, grape soda at night for somebody. Um, you know, this is what spirit is saying. Like, listen, hand over these things so you can um, be able to, you know, Erica Badu's song, Pack Light, is playing in my head. Like, you have to... you. You have to release this baggage that you're holding on to. These past hurts, fear, ego, cigarettes, grape soda, <laughs> okay? Anxiety, which is one of the huge issues here that I'm picking up, okay? All types of temptations, leave that, leave that. And Spirit is saying, come on this journey with me and leave all of that behind. It doesn't matter what happened to you, you know? It doesn't matter, because now I'm taking you somewhere and, you know, you are doing yourself a disservice by continuing to think about it and harp on it um, and feed it with addictions and trying to uh, cover it up and things of that nature. You're doing yourself a disservice because that means you're staying in the same vibration and I'm trying to take you out, okay? I'm trying to take you out of that vibration. This is what Spirit is trying to say. Spirit is saying, like, hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. I'm trying to get you out of here. The thing about it is there's someone who has enemies, right? And this is what I'm seeing. There's someone who has enemies. And Spirit is saying, let's go. Because where I'm taking you, they can't reach. But you need to hurry up. <laughs> okay? It's like sneaking away with Spirit in the night. Because wherever you're going, they, they're not going to be able to reach you. But you have to change your vibrational state. Okay? Okay. Express yourself through creativity. Express yourself through creativity. 
So for those of you guys who are, um, when you are giving up these addictions and when you are um, trying to, you know what, um, these these things right here, just for example, these phone cases right here is something that I created, you know, back in the times where my anxiety was at its peak, okay? And that's because the little details, me placing these little details in one by one really helped me to change my focus, okay? From the anxiety to, to fixate myself on something. This is how I was able to um, cope with that, okay? Um... So spirit is saying, listen, the, the cravings that you have, the fears, the anxieties, express these things through, through creative endeavors, okay? So for example, if you are feeling anxiety about, you know, going through a particular situation in life, um, channel that energy um, through um, creativity. You could write a song about it, write a poem about it, or, you know, however it, it will manifest fest itself once you channel those emotions into whatever your hobby is or into whatever your natural talent is okay for some of you if sex is an addiction of yours or if sex is a way that you are coping with things um i want to say to you that sexual energy is also creative energy okay so if sex is one of the things that you're going to be sacrificing and giving up to be able to move forward and go on this journey with spirit, I would say get you um a carnel a carnelian crystal or some you know whatever crystal resonates um with the sacral chakra, right? And what what you'll do is wear it and then channel you know that energy into something creative, okay? So this is a carnelian here. I think Tiger's Eye could, could help you with that as well. Okay, do a little bit of research. But this is a great time to express yourself through creative endeavors. Also, avoid um, places, people, places, and things where... Um, Avoid people, places, and things that are going that are toxic. These environments, you're you're in the middle of going through like a download, like you know, extreme downloads, things being revealed in your dreams. Um, you know, you might literally be physically feeling changes in your body because I I want to say it's like going through dimensions. I don't know, it you know. I'm just picking up a vibrational change. Spirit is trying to change you um vibrationally. Okay, so you have to be um, in it to win it. You have to sacrifice a lot of things. Um, and also, you have to be very aware, um, like they say, new level, new devil. Okay, so your, your concentration and your focus um, needs to be at an all-time high. No distractions, okay? Okay, let's see. Look at that. There's no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. So, um, there's no need for you to have anxiety, Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising. There's no need. Okay? I think, I think you have been through the worst. For some of you guys, you are releasing yourself from a toxic marriage. Okay? Um, a toxic, um, you know, household period. Okay? It could be you kick someone out or you moved out or you're just moving period okay for some of you guys you can have low vibrational neighborhoods that you're trying to release that spirit is helping you to release that this ancestor is helping you to release i don't know if i mentioned but i heard the name beverly when it came to a specific ancestor okay all right you guys i hope that helped <laughs> 